This video is sponsored by the self-care app, Fabulous. The first 500 people to use the link in the description will receive 25% off Fabulous Premium. Felix sat against a tree in a small field about a mile into the woods behind his family's house. He had somewhat recently developed a fondness for spending time secluded in nature, and he loved studying and collecting plants and minerals and whatever else he could find, often creating journals with drawings and diagrams to identify and log his findings. He came to this specific tree quite often, whenever he wanted to clear his head or make a big decision. It was isolated, away from everyone and everything. Felix had just turned 18 and was going off to university in the coming fall. He still had not yet fully decided what he wanted to study though, and it was eating away at him. He knew he didn't have to decide right then and then stick to it for the rest of his life, but he was the type of person who, once he chose something, he was pretty much all in on it, and he knew that about himself. Felix sat there against a tree and thought to himself about his future, who he wanted to be, and how he wanted to live his life. Part of him wanted to pursue something like botany and live a simple life, but another part of him wanted something much greater, to be truly successful, renowned by the world and history. He wanted to be someone who was known and remembered. Before he knew it, the day grew old and Felix grew tired. He looked up at the sky as the light blue became a gradient of colors, soon to be darkness. He looked around him, at the spring leaves rustling on the trees and the budding flowers trembling in the wind. He took a deep breath and closed his eyes. When Felix opened his eyes, he saw a woman. She was standing at a tree opposite him, maybe 50 yards away. Her face was angled slightly and pressed up against the tree with one of her hands kind of cupped around her eye. She appeared to be looking into it. She was dressed in all white and had a strange lightness about her. She was old, but not elderly. Her face was tight, but pretty. Felix had never seen anyone around this area before, so he was immediately startled and confused. He quickly got up and began walking home. Hey! yelled the woman. Felix paused and hesitantly turned around toward her. The woman was somehow right up near him now, maybe two arms lengths away. Hi? Felix said apprehensively. You don't have to leave just because of me, said the woman. I just like coming out here to think. That's a strange coincidence, Felix thought to himself. No, it's fine. I was just heading home. Okay, suit yourself. Felix turned around and kept walking. What were you thinking about? The woman continued unprompted. Felix turned around again. Why? You seem stressed. Maybe I can help. I've been around a while. Um, you know, school, life in general, I guess. Hmm, said the woman. What about it? I guess I'm trying to decide what I want to do, what I want to go to school for and do in life and everything. Well, what do you want? Asked the woman. I want to be successful, I know that. And I want to be important. I want the world to know me and remember me. Hmm, said the woman. She stood quietly for a moment. Look over here for a minute. I want to show you something. The woman walked over to the tree Felix was sitting at. Felix followed somewhat hesitantly. When they arrived, the woman pointed at the tree, staring at it intensely. Felix was confused as he looked on at the tree, then the woman, then back at the tree. Suddenly, the woman approached the tree and placed her finger into the face of it. It went right through. The ground shook with a brief but violent jolt. Felix found the whole thing kind of disturbing. The woman walked back away from the tree, looked at Felix, and then pointed at what was now a small hole about the size of a coin. What's that? Felix asked. Look, said the woman. Felix approached the tree hesitantly and looked inside. As he approached, the view inside the hole grew larger and larger, almost distorting the tree and creating a growing fisheye perspective like a peephole on a door. On the inside, he saw himself and the woman. As if from another person's perspective behind them, he saw himself from third person, looking into the tree with the woman standing behind him. What is that? Felix asked, disconcertingly moving away. Follow me, said the woman. The woman began walking into the woods. Compelled by curiosity and an inexplicable comfort, Felix followed her. While they were walking, Felix blurted out, Can you go into that? Into what? The little hole thing. No. Why not? You'll die. When the two reached another seemingly arbitrary tree, the woman stopped. She approached it and poked three holes in a horizontal line and then stepped back. Felix followed her lead and looked inside the first hole. He saw a man who looked to be in his 20s or 30s. 
He looked familiar, but Felix couldn't quite pin down exactly where he had seen him from before. The man was sitting at a desk, alone, working. It appeared to be a large office with big windows. It was nighttime, and you could see the skyline of a city behind him. The man appeared to be deeply stressed. Felix backed away from the hole. Who is that? He asked. You. Felix looked in again and recognized himself now. You are one of the few people capable of immense greatness, the woman said in a much more intense, focused tone. Your traits and abilities will mix just right to allow you to climb the ranks of the business world, and you will become one of the most prominent business magnates and product developers in human history. You will be revered by the world in your lifetime. You will be remembered for a long time after it. The woman pointed at the second hole. Felix looked inside and saw an older man in his 40s or 50s. He was on a large stage, receiving what looked like some sort of an award. He was wearing a strange tuxedo unlike anything Felix had ever seen before. A massive crowd was applauding him. A woman and two children stood at the front of it. The man smiled and pointed at them. Then he smiled and pointed at the rest of the crowd. A moment passed and the man got off the stage and went up to the woman and two children in the front. They appeared to be his family. He whispered in the woman's ear, his lips reading, I have to catch that flight now. The woman looked disappointed as the man left with what looked like a small team of security. Is that, that's me too? Felix asked the woman as he pulled his face away. Yes, a little bit older. Without being instructed, Felix looked into the third hole. It was a classroom filled with students. The classroom looked strange, mostly empty, with sleek white walls and floors. The students were using some sort of device that displayed out in front of them, like a holographic textbook. On their displays were text and an image of Felix in his 50s. Is that well after your lifetime? interrupted the woman. Felix began to feel an indescribable sense of pride, relief, and excitement for himself and his future. He smiled tightly and his shoulders raised. You will be this, said the woman, but you will dedicate your entire life to your career, to your business, to your legacy. Okay? Felix said, figuring as much. No, you don't understand, the woman continued. You will sacrifice everything, your free time, most of your social life, most of your love life and family life, almost all of your leisure and peace and quiet. Just about everything else will fall to the wayside, but it is guaranteed you will be this, known by the world and remembered by history. What about like more of a balance? Felix interrupted. There is no balance when one side of the scale requires everything from you. Felix paused. So, is, is this it? Felix said as he gestured out and around him, hoping that perhaps the woman was an indication of something beyond this life. Follow me, said the woman, continuing to walk a little further into the woods and up a hillside. The woman stopped at a large boulder. Felix was exhausted. The night was taking over the sky. Again, the woman created a hole, this time in the face of the rock. She stepped away and pointed toward it. Felix approached and looked in. Inside, Felix saw nothing. The only dimension of space he could make out was from faint light beams that seemed to be coming from what looked like stars in the distance. What is that? Felix asked as he pulled his head away. That's here, a short time into the future, relatively speaking. The woman pointed at the ground. But there's nothing, Felix said. I know. Where is everything? Where everything goes. But what happened to Earth? What didn't happen to Earth? The woman poked another hole in the boulder right above the previous one. Felix knew what to do by now. Inside this one, he saw everything. In a violent rupture of perspective, he was pulled from his myopic view and thrust outward into an indescribable, unrestrained view of everything. Free from time, free from space. He saw the waltz of waves and the poetry of particles, the discotheque of dimensions and the emancipation of energy, the dance of decay and the pain of progress. He saw nothing and everything, intertwined like a serpent consuming its tail, with reason and absurdity excreting out from it. Finally, Felix saw himself amidst it all, an infinitesimal blemish on a speck that if it didn't exist, nothing would be different at all. His tininess was as inconceivable as the universe's vastness. Felix pushed himself away, holding his upper stomach and breathing heavily. The woman waited a minute. Come on, let's go back now. The two arrived back at the tree where they had started. The hole in the tree was gone now, but the woman made two final new ones. 
Felix, exhausted now, unable to imagine what else she could possibly be showing him, slowly and reluctantly approached and looked inside. He saw himself again in his 30s or 40s, but this time he was walking in the woods with two other people around the same age. They were wearing relatively casual outdoorsy clothing. They carried large futuristic test tubes and what looked like digital magnifying glasses. They seemed happy. Felix looked into the second hole. It was him again, still around the same age. A little older, maybe. He was playing with children in the front yard of a house in what looked like the countryside. A woman sat in the background on the porch of the small home. A moment passed and then a car drove up and another family got out and joined them. Felix pulled his head away. Is that... is that also me? It is. I'm confused. I thought you said I was going to be... What about my destiny? Every destiny is made of decisions. Every decision is made with a goal in mind. Your destiny is only what you do. You can choose not to. Felix paused, trying to wrap his head around everything. The weight and absurdity of the whole experience knocked him to the ground. When you see everything, you realize how much is really nothing. And when you see nothing, you realize what is really everything. You said you wanted to be successful. I can see everything, any time, any place, and I do not know what this means. Only you do. Felix leaned up against the tree and laid back for a moment. He looked up at the night sky, breathed in deeply, and closed his eyes. So, said the woman, what are you going to do? Thank you so much for watching. This video was sponsored by the number one self-care app, Fabulous. Perhaps one of the most important but difficult things we can do in life is understand and control ourselves. Though one may conquer a thousand times a thousand men in battle, yet he indeed is the noblest victor who conquers himself, said the Buddha. Subduing the noise of the world and the inner chatter of the mind, conquering oneself and setting and accomplishing goals we personally deem valuable is no easy task though. Fabulous, however, helps make this process much easier by breaking down long-term goals into small tasks, trackable habits, and daily routines that actually stick. Whether your goals are tangible things like eating healthier or sleeping better, or more abstract things like developing better gratitude or focus, Fabulous functions like a personalized digital coach using principles from behavioral science that help you define, develop, and stick to routines, making your goals more attainable and the process more rewarding. If you're someone who just wants help tracking and sticking to individual habits, you can use Fabulous's more self-guided habit tracking approach and pick from more than 100 habits or create your own, and then use Fabulous's notifications, tracking function, and other features. Or, if you would benefit from a more immersive experience with extra guidance and insights on best practices towards your goals, you can use Fabulous's dedicated program approach and use their behavioral change programs, habit coaching programs, guided experiences, and content journeys for additional help along the way. No matter who you are, how your mind works, or what you want your daily life to feel like, Fabulous provides a unique, rewarding experience that can help you turn just about any goal into a daily reality. Start building toward that ideal daily routine today by clicking the link in the description below. The first 500 people to use the link will get 25% off Fabulous Premium. With Fabulous Premium, you can create an unlimited number of habits and take part in all programs and exercises. And of course, as always, thank you so much for watching in general, and see you next video.